Hey there folks, it's Brittany Jackson from Learning Technologies and um, today I'm going to show you how to upload a video to YouTube. So first you need to go to YouTube, as you can see here on my screen, I've already done that. And you need to make sure you're logged in. I'm logged into the Tech and Trek account because um, that's where we're going to upload this video to. And so um, once you're logged into YouTube, um, you can come over here and click on this little, um, looks like a video camera icon with a plus symbol. And if you hover over, it says create. So you can go ahead and click on that and then click on upload video. And then it's gonna open a screen here for us that we can um, upload our video. So you can drag and drop or you can select the files. Um, I am going to select the files. And this is the video I want. Um, this is from earlier. And so then it's going to take a second here. And then it's going to um, ask you to fill in these details. So um, the Tech and Trek defaults, this one will be um, the title for this particular video will be how to uh, create a YouTube account, because that's the video that this is. I'm going to put in here, you do not need to put a description but I tend to in our videos just so um, it's pretty clear. And then um, down here in playlist, I, um, you can create a playlist. So if you don't have one in here already that makes sense that you wanna try and use, you can um, scroll down here and choose new playlist. We already have one that works right here with general tutorial videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit done now that I've selected that. Um, the audience will ask you, is it made for kids or is it not? This is when you have to um, complete. I tend to say no just to be safe. Typically, there's nothing on our videos that wouldn't be um, acceptable for kids, but, you know, just want to be safe and I do it that way. But you can also, if you wanted to, restrict the age um, preference. So, you know, that's another possibility for you. And then... Um, if you wanted to choose a thumbnail, those take a minute to pop up, but if you wanted to choose a thumbnail, you could here. And then here you've got your video link. Um, I'm gonna copy that only because I'm gonna need it later. But then um, go down here to the bottom right and you click next. This one gives you the option to add an on screen, which you can do, um, or you can add cards. I tend to say, especially if it, these are just lectures for your course, these. I normally just click right through this and hit next, um, mostly because it's not necessary in my opinion. Um, and then here is where you're gonna say, it's gonna be under the visibility. Here, if you do not want people to find this video unless they have the link, you click it on, un uh, you make sure that unlisted is listed. If you don't want anybody at all to see this video other than yourself, you would choose private. And if you choose public, it, it's out there for the world to see. So if someone searches um, whatever your video is about, um, it may come up. So just know that. But you know, most of the time we can choose unlisted and it's not too big of an issue. Um, and then if you wanted to schedule to make it public on a certain date, you could. And then once you've got all of that done um, and made your choices here, you just go ahead and hit save. And then it's going to, um, it, depending on the length of your video, mine was pretty short, so it uh, was able to create it pretty quickly and it's been published. And again, I can copy that YouTube link so then I can then put it in Moodle or wherever you would like to. Um, I've already done that, so I'm just gonna go ahead, and, go ahead and hit close. And then you should see in your videos where that one is now at the top and shows up. You always have the um, details button, the analytics button so you can see who else has been looking at it comments if anybody's made a comment on it, um, and then view on YouTube so you could do that. You can always change the video to public um, or to private if you want to later. You can just click that over here and change. Um, and this little options here, uh, you can edit the title and description, you can get that shareable link again, you can download it again um, if you deleted it and then need to go in and change something or fix something or want to edit it in any way. You can download it. And then of course, if you choose delete forever, it's gone forever. So, um, so that is really the basics of how to upload a video to YouTube.
Um, if you have questions, as always, don't hesitate to reach out to us and good luck in all you do.